more than halfway, halfway through. through. I'll, I'll learn to that. Let's try to make me better, better and get you some money. money. I'm worried you, you know I am totally coming down the days to make me baseballs opening day. Anyone else going? going? Call that at work. Yeah, you're calling that at work. Why are you honest about it? I've been thinking about this all day, so I went on Twitter to ask. What was, what was the, the biggest, biggest lie you, you ever, ever told in order, order to watch or attend a sporting event? event. And, and we, we warm, warm up on Twitter, Twitter before every game of HQ Sports. Find, Find us there at HQ Sports. Sports. If you didn't get a chance, then just drop your answer, answer in the chat, chat right now. At Caddyshack says his schedule, schedule was handwritten, handwritten and, he and he was scheduled, scheduled to work until 2 p.m. on the day of the Super Bowl. That, that wasn't nearly enough, enough time, time for him to pre -game, so, so he wrote, wrote a 1 in front, in front of, of that 2 and, and promptly left at 12 o'clock that day. <laughs> nice. nice. I, I love, love that one. At, at RJ, RJ Cole, Cole 3 says his mom's, mom's birthday, June 14, 1994, very specific. He was, he was stuck, stuck at work for her birthday. birthday. But, but instead, he stayed, stayed home to watch the Rangers play Game 7 in the Stanley Cup Finals. And, and I, I guess, guess it was, was a good call because they went on to win that year. Oh, yeah. yeah. At, At GP, GP Parker, Parker 22 says that he lied, lied to his employer that he had to go out of town to see his grandfather. His grandfather. But, but he, he was really in Baton Rouge, Rouge for the LSU, LSU Ole Miss football game. game. And then at Gonzalez1227 says, says, every year on MLB opening, opening day, I call, I call in sick with baseball fever. fever. Ah, ah yeah, yeah, that's, that's the spirit. spirit. I mean, I mean the, the perks of hosting, hosting a sports, sports game, game show is that, that I can tell the truth and they're, they're cool with it. it. As, As always, thank you for playing along. Tonight's game is 12 rounds of sports-only trivia starting easy and only getting tougher. Get them all right and you win! $1,000. We are also playing for points. points. And in tonight's, tonight's game, every, every question is, wait, wait for it, worth five times more points than usual. Yeah, we, we were on it. it. Yes! Also, also because, because this is the last game, game of HG Sports, Sports where, where you can earn points before, before the season finale, finale which is Sunday, Sunday March, March 3rd at 9 p.m. Eastern, Eastern time. time. I'm just, just going to go, go ahead and, and add a quiet 50 million, million points to the prize pot tonight. Oh, oh yeah. 50 million points and $1,000. I love it. Remember, Remember you can, can earn points by answering questions, questions correctly. correctly. Once, Once you earn, you earn enough, enough points to level up, up that means that you get, get a free pass, pass on the corresponding question. The higher your level, the more free passes you get. That makes winning any game of HQ a little bit easier if you have a bunch of those free passes. You can level all the way up to 10, meaning 10 free passes. Here's our last HQ Sports check-in at that grand finale prize. Let's take a look. 119,988 dollars! Wow, that is a big pot and that's only growing with the more points that you are earning. Hey, you got any extra lives? They are the real MVPs when you foul out. They get you back in a game after a really tough round. So pick one up now before we start, or you can invite new friends to play HQ to earn them for free. Our pot is $1,000 and 50 million points. You're gonna definitely wanna pull out all of the stops to win this one. Okay, team, that's all she's got for you. Now, it's game time. To the over 137,000 players ready to put their sports knowledge to the test, Let's see what you got. Round one starts right now. What is Wayne Gretzky's nickname? Do that hockey, basketball Jones, or the great one? Ah, oh, this is fitting because we talked about the greatest athletes nicknames last game. And let me just tell you, nobody did that hockey like Wayne Gretzky, AKA the great one. The NHL's all-time leader in goals, assists, and points in a career and in a single season. The great one is Wayne Gretzky. 112,617 of you knew that one. Hey, we talked a lot about nicknames last game, even mine. What were your sports nicknames growing up? Sound off in the chat right now. Round number two. Major League Baseball has controversially proposed adding what to baseball games? Pitch clock, hot dog man, or animal mascots? Thank God there's nothing up here about soft pretzels, because I would have rioted. Most people think that baseball should move a bit faster, but not everyone agrees that the best way to do it is via MLB's plan for a pitch clock. 
We're seeing a little glimpse of it now during spring training, but we actually don't have to worry about it until 2022. Whew. But yes, they are proposing to put in a pitch clock. 108,106 of you knew that one. And hey, I got a controversial topic for you. It's round number three. It's uh, something that has been on social media for quite some time. And I think that if you've been keeping up with current events, or if you've uh, played Madden this year, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Last year's NFL leader in receiving touchdowns has requested a trade from what team? New York Giants, New England Patriots, or the Pittsburgh Steelers? Oh, a little bit controversial. Yes, it is. The man that I was referring to is Antonio Brown. He's had almost as much action on social media as he had on the field last year when he led the league with 15 touchdown catches. Vegas says disgruntled AB is most likely to head to San Francisco for next season. Interesting combo if Garoppolo's back, but he's currently still with the Pittsburgh Steelers. Yes, he is. 80,017 of you got that one right. Over 36,000 of you couldn't take my hint. Come on, I tried my best. I'm trying to give this to you here. All right, Antonio Brown, I want you to sound off and we will shout you out right before our halfway point at the end of round number nine. What team do you think needs Antonio Brown the most? We will sound off after round number five. Until then, here's round number four. The player who leads the Milwaukee Bucks in scoring, rebounds, and assists was born in what country? Nigeria, USA, or Greece? You gonna keep this lead here, team? Let's see. Well, his parents are from Nigeria, but this is a case where you can actually believe the nickname. Hi, I'm Yanis Antetokounmpo. This is my beautiful country, Greece. Yanis, aka the Greek freak, was in fact born in Athens. Greece is the answer here. 84,313 of you knew that one as we make our way to round number five. Oh yeah, Giannis, the Greek freak, thank you very much, but we're moving on to round five. In official baseball scoring, what position is assigned to the greatest number? Third base, pitcher, shortstop. Do you know anyone that still keeps the book during games? There's always that one guy in my section and I love seeing it. Well, listen. It starts with number one, the pitcher. Then the catcher is two, then you go around the bases in order, three, four, five, and shortstop is number six. Shortstop is number six. Where are all my statisticians at? 46,711 of you knew that one. And hey, we wanted to know where you think AB is going next season. It's your boy, hey there, you said the Giants. Of course you did. Shop King, you said the Redskins. All right, can we get him out of the NFC East, please? Adore Jazz said the Knicks. That's a change of pace, okay. And Dave PTO said the WWE. What would Antonio Brown's wrestling name be? Sound out on that in the chat. Call it an audible here. I want to hear that. <laughs> Let's see what you got there. All right, we are moving on. It's round number six. What team once won a single digit amount of games in a full 82 game season? Philadelphia 76ers, Charlotte Bobcats, or Denver Nuggets? Ah, you're halfway there, team. Well, the Bobcats won a truly embarrassing seven games in 2011 and 2012, that season, but it was a lockout shortened season. The 72-73 Sixers, however, went 9-73 and in a full season. They almost did it again, going 10-72 and in 2016. The Philadelphia 76ers, yes, 50,181 of you knew that one. Trust the process as we move on to the second half. It's round number seven. What MLB player had the most home runs as a rookie DH? David Ortiz, Frank Thomas, or Shohei Otani? Fun fact for ya, I sit next to Matt Richards, you might know him. He's got a shrimp tank and he let me named one. I named him after David Ortiz, Big Poppy. Get it? Get it? Shrimp named Big Poppy? 
Okay. Ortiz is arguably the greatest DH of all time, likely on his way to the Hall of Fame, but he had a slow start in Minnesota before going to Boston. Otani had 22 homers and only 326 at bats, about a half season worth. No first year DH had more. Shohei Otani. Oh my goodness, was he fun to watch. Let's see what he's got. 37,221 of you knew that one. Wow, knocking out over 50,000 players here at round number seven. All right, to the 37,000 of you still in it, you got to get your big bats out for this one. The questions are only getting tougher. Can you hang in there for round number eight? What is the only hockey team to win multiple Stanley Cups without ever losing a championship series? Colorado Avalanche, New York Islanders, or the Pittsburgh Penguins? Man, this has to be the worst, making it all the way to the end just to blow it. Don't let that happen here, team. But back to the NHL, every team with more than two cups has also lost in the finals at least once but thank goodness the Avalanche is 2-0. and Oh yeah, Colorado Avalanche is the answer. 21,078 of you knew that one, knocking out over another 30,000 here at round number eight. We are almost there. Can you hang on for the win? Round number nine. Which race is not considered part of the achievement known as the Triple Crown of Motorsport? Monaco Grand Prix, Daytona 500, or the Indy 500? Almost at the finish line. Well, requiring three very different kinds of racing, the Triple Crown of Motorsport includes the Indy 500, the 24 Hours, hours of Le Mans, and the Monaco Grand Prix. British racer Graham Hill is the only person to capture all three. Not included, though, the Daytona 500. That's right, not included. 11,704 of you selected that, and you'd be right. And hey, we're moving on to the triple crown of rounds right now with round number 10. What women's basketball player won the NCAA tournament's most outstanding player award the most times? Brittany Griner, Maya Moore, or Brianna Stewart? Well, unless they change the rules of eligibility, this record is going to stand. Stewart won most outstanding player all four years at UConn. No one else has won more than twice. Brianna Stewart is the most outstanding player we were looking for. 8,072 of you getting that one right as we move into our final two questions. I need your head in it right now. Here it is, round 11. Which soccer legend did not score in the World Cup final as a teenager? Diego Maradona, Pele, or Kylian Mbappe? The last World Cup saw the arrival of a new superstar in Mbappe, who became the first teen to score in the final since the GOAT Pele. What you're going to see now is Maradona as a teen on your screen, but he was 25 when he scored his first goal, World Cup final goal. Diego Maradona is the answer here. 5,191 of you knew that one. And we are into the final round. Officially, it all comes down to this. You worked so hard. Your endurance has been at 100% from rounds one through 11. All you have to do is push through for the win right here with one more round. Can you do it? Round number 12 coming at you. What MLB team has the worst all-time winning percentage? New York Mets, San Diego Padres, or Tampa Bay Rays? What's it going to be? Before we talk about the worst all-time winning percentage, you wanted to know who the best was? The Yankees. I'll just leave that there for you guys. But back to this question. After a big offseason, the team with the worst might change things up a bit because they signed Manny Machado and have the game's top-rated farm system. But as of now, I'm sorry to do it to you, Padres fans. I know, we're doing it again. They have the worst winning percentage of all time at a 461. San Diego Padres is your answer, and we have 2,374 new HQ Sports MVPs. Congratulations! <laughs> Oh.
Oh yeah, 2,374 winners. It looks like we are all splitting a prize. You know, we have two prizes tonight, so we're splitting a prize of about 42 cents and 21,000, over 21,000 points. Wow, amazing, amazing work. I know what you're gonna say, but it's 42 cents more than you started this game with. And that's a whole lot of points. That season finale is coming up. Pillow Talk Zero, I see you there, darling. That sunshine angle looking good. Merle, 211, cute cat. E of O, uh, I can't really see it, but you're looking good there too. Amazing, amazing work. Go Lions 84, I see you there too. Congratulations again to our newest HQ Sports MVPs. You kept up the pace for 12 solid rounds and you brought home that prize and the glory. Hey, think you can win again tonight? Well, let me upgrade ya. Cause tonight at 9 p.m. is Beyonce trivia. Don't be a bugaboo and miss it. I'm two for two, what can I say? I'll be back Monday for another game of HQ Sports. We play every Monday and Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern time. Follow us on social media at HQ Sports and me at Lauren underscore Gambino. Now, I'm off to go pick up Johnny Manziel. What? We could use a charismatic backup quarterback around here, right? No? I'm being told no. Okay then, I'm Lauren Gambino. Remember to hydrate, focus, and keep your head in the game.